Brüchi reactors are used for various pressure and vacuum applications in the chemical industry. Brüchi glass equipment is used for multiple chemical reactions, often under vacuum. Reasons for the use of glass are transparency, resistance against most acids, inert properties, almost no material expansion, wide thermal operation range. The invention of our flexible ball socket connection enables our systems to use it safely in tough and harsh environment. Büchi glass systems for vacuum applications are available in the range from 5 liters up to 10,000 liters. The installation shown is used for solvent synthesis for manufacturing of APIs and intermediates on peptide basis. All reactors shown in volumes from 50 to 2000 liters were supplied by Büchi, from the design and engineering to the installation on site. The installation site is an explosion-proof area. The access to this restricted area is limited to operators with the appropriate clothing and training only. All electrical installations comply with the ATEX guideline. The piping is electrically grounded. Several sets of CR252 type Büchi chem reactors with a nominal reactor volume of 250 liters are used here. Large systems consist of 630 liter glass lined reactors in combination with its distillation glass overhead. All reaction systems are built with a reaction vessel made of glass and glass lined steel. The jacket is connected to heating, cooling device for temperature control. Feeders and receivers in glass. Glass spiral condensers. And piping, valves and instrumentation. 316L stainless steel scaffolding. As in the laboratory, the required starting substances are to be prepared in the first step. This includes weighing of solids, weighing or addition of liquids or solvents or the addition of small quantities which are only used in catalytical scale. The reactors will be purged with an inert gas first to avoid the formation of explosive vapor mixtures. This is normally done by repeated evacuation, venting cycles by putting the system under full vacuum and venting it with nitrogen or another inert gas. Solids are added to the reactor through the handhole or inspection port. The use of a feeding funnel or an enclosed charging system is often appropriate. Liquids are filled into the feeders by vacuum. The addition with a tolerance of 1 liter is usually precise enough for large volumes of solvents. After venting the feeder, the liquid can be drained to the reactor. To dissolve or to suspend the substances in the reactor, they are mixed by the glass-lined impeller stirrer. The built-in baffle ensures a turbulent flow. This forced flow along the reactor wall ensures also an excellent heat transfer. Possible chemical reactions are as broad as the organic chemistry itself. Shown here is the preparation and slow feeding of an additional liquid reactant. After completion of the conversion, a sample can be taken from the reactor. This can be done through the handhole or with a closed reactor by using a sampling device. The chemical conversion will be controlled in the lab by using appropriate analytical methods. The workup and refinement of the reaction mixture is needed by removal of impurities and isolation of the product. Processes such as extractions, evaporation to a specific consistency, 
crystallizations or filtrations are used. The extraction process is performed to separate impurities by adding an additional solvent. Both liquids do not dissolve into the other and can be separated again. They will be mixed thoroughly before separating themselves into their phases again. The upper or lighter phase can be removed to the receivers or the heavier lower phase can be drained through the bottom valve. The existing volume of solvents is often reduced by distillation, done by heating and under reduced pressure or vacuum. The resulting solvent vapors are then condensed in the glass condensers and collected in the receivers. An often used cleaning method is crystallization, whereby the designated product is accrued in solid form. This can be achieved by cooling, evaporation or addition of a solvent. After the crystallization, the suspension can be transferred to a filter to separate solids from the liquid. Büchi filters up to 50 liters are equipped with a manual stirrer. Larger filters in the range of 150 liters use electrically driven stirrers. The filter cake or slurry is being dried by heating and purging of solvent vapors under vacuum. This can be done in a jacketed filter up to a certain extent, a rotary evaporator or a drying oven. The reactor can be cleaned and prepared for another process easily by rinsing and refluxing with an appropriate solvent. The glazed, free of pore surface of glass and glass-lined steel with its hydrophobic characteristic ensure easy and efficient cleaning. The reactor can be expanded with accessories by installing additional accessories to the blinded ports on the reactor cover. Available accessories are feeding lines for additional liquids, gas inlet tubes for transfer and dispersion into liquid phase, sampling system, pH probes and others. Büchi supplies auxiliary equipment for other process steps. Scrubbers with columns up to DN600 for exhaust cleaning. Mixing vessels up to 200 liters for dissolving tasks. Crystallization and extraction or as storage tanks. Büchi supplies complete solutions for multiple chemical reactions. With trained staff around the globe, we can offer specific and reliable solutions. Repeated customers worldwide confirm the outstanding performance of our reactor systems.